what further details have we got? Because we've kind of been saying for a week that there's something really bizarre about this story and the role that the CEO, of course, played too in, in, in trying to sell the company. There's almost too many details to go into. Oh. You need a whole day of TV. So, look, this is... <laughs> the, Deason filed this amended, amended complaint yes. uh, earlier this morning. And in that, he has a series of text conversations, email conversations, written correspondence between a, some executives at Xerox, some people at Fuji, some between Xerox and Xerox and their advisors. And really what they show collectively is that there was a lot of um, infighting going on inside the company before they got to this deal with Fuji. There was a lot of different voices suggesting, some people saying it was a terrible idea, some people saying it was a great idea. And then of course there was this issue around Jacobson, which is yes. sort of front and center. So The CEO of the Xerox. CEO of Xerox, exactly right. So. Xerox had maintained that Jacobson had full authorization to do this deal. He was in charge of negotiating with Fuji. Darwin Deason and Carl Icahn, who had joined in sort of fighting this deal, have both said that actually he didn't. He was acting sort of outside of his remit and he had been essentially fired by the company midway through these negotiations. And at least according to the complaint and some of the documents in there, that appears to be correct. Wow. Okay, so it does sound very juicy and we'll just have to devote a whole day of television to hear all of the details but I am wondering what this means about the deal. I believe it has not been completed yet and uh, could this potentially throw a wrench into well, something? Well is it enough for them to say not happening? Well look, the next thing that's going to happen here is that the judge is going to rule yeah. as to whether or not Icon and Decent have a case and whether they can enjoin the merger and also whether they can put up their directors onto the board. Uh, that I think is happening on the 26th so that's going to be the next day here. I'm sure there will be more mudslinging between now and then. And one thing that has happened even today is that Xerox have come back with a response of their own. They say in there, and it's fairly colorful, that Icon apparently told Jacobson earlier, uh, but before this all kicked off, that um, he thought Xerox and the printing industry more generally were a piece of... I was about to say, please let there be an expletive. And, <laughs> please let there be an expletive. <laughs> and, 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 and that he wished he had never invested in the company. So, oh, wow. you know, there, there is, there's going to yeah. be more back and forth on this, and I'm sure there'll be more uh, filings between now and then.